All right, so hopefully you all are seeing what I'm saying. Um, all right, so we're very excited about what we're trying to build here. And of course, we're only gonna be successful with uh, community input. And I wanted to talk about what this all means. Um, and again, just a reminder, and you're gonna see this slide a lot, right? FathomNet is in beta. And really what our goals here today is to share you know, the, the visions and the goals that we have for FathomNet, uh, build community, you know, engage with, with you all. Uh, but then I think really importantly, we want to generate feedback uh, to improve, right, uh, the features that we've already put out there and with the goal of implementing this in, in this year, actually. Uh, and so I'll talk about that a little bit more detail tomorrow. Um, but just, you know, overall, this is, this is what we're trying to do um, as part of the workshop. And, you know, because I'm an engineer, I don't necessarily know how to build community, uh, but fortunately there are researchers and scientists out there where, you know, they, they think about this a lot, like, um, you know, social psychology, but behind community building. And there is a paper published in 1986, a while ago, I realized, but um, that has identified, you know, four key factors that define a sense of community. Uh, you know, the first is membership, so um, providing a, a mechanism for creating a sense of belonging and identification, uh, and also alignment with other community members that have uh, similar goals and, and interests. Um, also influence, so it's important that members of this community um, are empowered to uh, provide feedback, uh, have influence, right, over what the group is doing. And, you know, the, that group cohesiveness really depends on whether or not um, group members feel like they have influence. Um, and so, again, is a big reason for why we want, you know, your feedback. We've created a number of mechanisms to, 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 to gather that feedback uh, so that we can ensure that we're, we're building something that, that uh, addresses the community needs. Uh, and then integration and fulfillment of needs, right? It's one thing to, to provide, uh, you know, feedback, but it's another thing to actually deliver on them. And so that's a, a big part of what we're trying to do um, as, as part of these workshops is, is giving you updates on where we are. Uh, and then finally, shared emotional connection. I think we, most of us here, most of us here can agree that, you know, obviously we care about the ocean and we want to contribute in some way. Um, and so it's these quality interactions and bonds that we have, uh, you know, within this project or within this, this, this scope of work um, that are created. Um, and then also receiving credit from within the community, right? The idea that we need to provide mechanisms for attribution um, so that, you know, people know how you've contributed and how you've actually helped push uh, FathomNet forward. Um, and so uh, a couple things I want to highlight, uh, this is the, you know, the, the, the first, the, the landing page, if you select about us, you will see a lot of content and information. Um, I wanted to, uh, you know, just quickly show you there's terms of use, there's quick external links, and then a, a quick summary in terms of what, um, you know, how this was started. Uh, and then, of course, uh, a lot of acknowledgments, right? A lot of we're, we're building something on top of uh, tools and services that other, pe other people have built. And so it's important that we make that clear. Uh, and so there's several ways that you can get involved. Um, you know, there's a, a mailing list that you can sign up for by going to uh, FathomNet's blog on Medium. So medium.com slash FathomNet. Uh, of course, if you can upload your annotated images uh, to FathomNet, that would be fantastic. Um, you know, providing verification of images or labels in FathomNet co that correspond to your subject matter expertise. And I'll be talking a little bit more about some of the improvements we um, are in the process of implementing that can help facilitate those kinds of interactions. Uh, and then, you know, Eric and Kevin did a fantastic job talking about uh, GitHub and how it's not only a place for, you know, accessing code, but also the models that uh, people are training using uh, FathomNet data. Um, and again, uh, one, one thing I do want to highlight that we haven't talked too much about is uh, community feedback. So again, it's important for us to get your feedback, um, but also, you know, respond to it and uh, ensure that that feedback is incorporated into like the next versions or the, the next um, you know, implementation of, of FathomNet. So if you select community feedback, there's two things I wanna highlight. There's issues and discussions. 
uh, issues is really, you know, a place where you can tell us specifically, okay, there's something maybe not working with the database or something specific that you would like to see, like a feature incorporated. Um, and so it's here that we, you know, uh, evaluate them. Um, we also comment on them, assign issues to different people. And so you're welcome to take a look at the issues. I think now we're up to what, probably on the order of 90. Um, and so the idea is that this is a, a way for you to keep track of our progress as well. Uh, if to make a new issue, you just uh, hit that new issue green button. Uh, the other thing I wanted to highlight is discussion. So this is a situation where, you know, you're not really sure what you want, or, but what you think would be really helpful, but you would love to like start bouncing ideas off of team members, like the core Fathomit team members. Um, and, you know, we're happy to do that. Um, so like, for instance, Dan here had this idea about a mentorship system. So maybe the a mechanism for us to engage more enthusiasts or, you know, people who may not be programmers yet or familiar with um, marine science um, applications. You know, these are these are active conversations that we would love to, to have with with the community. And again, uh, uh, hit that green button for new discussions. Um, and so besides GitHub, we you can also help by creating uh, how-to videos or workflows and share them on, you know, either Fathomet's blog at medium.com or on YouTube. So, you know, similarly, we saw how the Sea Vision group with Ben's, Ben Woodward's group, you know, they've created a blog as well as a YouTube, um, a YouTube video describing Tater. So we're happy to, to do the same thing for any other annotation tool, particularly if you know we've figured out ways to incorporate Fathomit um, uh, data into the process. So if you were to go to our medium, uh, you'll see a number of articles that have been uploaded. You know, the very first one was uh, written by Brian, how to submit localized image annotations to Fathomit. So this does a really good job of walking you through the process um, and you know, on how to fathom it or how to um, how to format the data that then winds up um, being contributed to Fathomnet. Kevin has a really great explainer on, you know, how do you use the, the Python API for Fathomnet. Uh, Eric talks about how to upload your ML models to Fathomnet. So if, you know, the presentation isn't enough, there's more content in, in these blog posts. So feel free to take a look. And then finally, um, John uh, at Sea Vision also described how they're staging data on Tater for it to wind up being submitted to Fathomnet. Um, and then uh, YouTube channels, this is important. Here you'll also find not only um, helpful demos, uh, you'll also find content that we posted last year as part of the Fathomnet workshop. Um, so like, for instance, when I had more time and on my hands, I used to make video demos describing different uh, tools that we have in Ambari. So like the Deep Sea Guide, the VARS Query Tool, um, you know, there's also that video demo for uh, Tater. And so feel free to take a look at the, that content. There, we're constantly adding more and more content. And if, again, if you have your own content you want to contribute, just reach out and let us know. Um, and then what's next? All right. So then really, really important, right, is, is terms of use. I've spent a ton of time with uh, lawyers, IP lawyers, to going over this um, to try and come up with a data use policy that would address the needs and the, the concerns of a lot of different institutions, right? Um, you know, starting with Ambari National Geographic Society and, of course, NOAA and, and other people. And so um, the idea is that this, this data use policy really is a, a compromise that addresses concerns uh, across a lot of individuals. Um, so first, you know, the annotations in the data set are made available in accordance with this terms of use. The, the annotations are licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution No Derivatives 4.0 International License. The images, though, have a slightly different license. They're, they're attributed, uh, they're licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial No Derivatives 4.0 International License. But we do make them available with the exception or for the exception uh, that people can use them for training and development of machine learning algorithms. And that can be for commercial, academic or government purposes. So, um, you know, limited use, but we provide that exception just for uh, development and training of machine learning algorithms. But again, because people are providing this image data, you can potentially use that image data for a number of other applications. But if you 
choose to do that, you need to reach out to the, to the original copyright holder or owner of that imagery before you do that. And so the way we built Fathom it, it was we, we made sure that, you know, it's very, very easy to get that information so that you can contact the copyright holder of the image um, to, to then get permission uh, for your particular use. Uh, finally, uh, we have a disclaimer. Um, US is particularly litigious, but I wanted to say that, you know, just so you know, images and annotations are provided uh, by the copyright holders and contributors as is. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, and then other things, right? Of course, we expect people to follow the, the data use policy. Please read that, get familiar with it. Um, but we also request that users agree to the following terms. Uh, so for instance, acknowledgements. Of course, we would love, um, you know, FathomNet to be acknowledged uh, in, in your publications or your projects. So, you know, please, uh, you know, cite our uh, recent publication. Uh, this uh, publication uh, came out uh, late last year, oh, September of 2022. Uh, it's also generated a lot of engagement, like we're in the 99th percentile based on alt metrics. Um, so, but please, please just continue citing this. I mean, we're gonna be nowhere near an image net um, the citation list, but still uh, we do appreciate that. Uh, and also if you're sharing your work uh, either by a presentation or a poster, please slap on a FathomNet logo on your materials. Um, we actually make the, the, the logo really easy to find. Uh, you can actually find it on our GitHub at the FathomNet logo repo. repo. Um, and there you can download all sorts of flavors of the logo uh, if, that you want. And, you know, please, please do that because I think, you know, it's important for people to, to see FathomNet, know it exists and start to recognize, um, you know, that, that, that contribution and, and help us grow over time. Uh, the second thing is enrichments. Uh, so the idea, right, is if we're creating a database, we're trying to create a community, you know, it, it, it's not just using that um, resource, but also figuring out ways to contribute back based on your, you know, area of expertise or your interests. So, you know, for example, you could create how-to videos or workflows that you then post to Fathomnet's Medium or YouTube channels. Uh, you know, Eric spent a lot of time talking about how you can, um, you know, post your models on the Fathomnet Model Zoo using uh, GitHub. Uh, you can, of course, contribute uh, label data um, or provide your subject matter expertise to validate submitted data for again, the purpose of growing this ecosystem, helping it you know, maintain and continue um, being really healthy. Uh, and then finally, benevolent use. I think Brian also mentioned this, but really we want the data to be used only in ways that are consistent with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. And again, if you haven't taken a look at that, there's 17 of them. Um, and so you know, get familiar with, with that as well. So we've also created a lot of different ways to connect with us. Um, we're, we're very easy to find. <laughs> so firstly, we have a Twitter. Uh, so uh, follow us at twitter.com slash fathomnet. Uh, I wanted to also highlight that Kevin has done some great work with a, a Twitter bot um, called fathomnet bot, which is just kind of fun. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about that tomorrow. Uh, we also have a Slack space. So the idea that you know if you have questions, uh, if you want to, you know, tag any of the, the team here and want to have some back and forth, you know, or, you know, you've come across new data sets or you've come across new papers that, you know, we as a community should be aware of, please post them. So join us on Slack. Uh, and then also if, you know, if, if Discord is more of your, your flavor of interaction, um, we've been, you know, working really closely with the live stream oceanographic community. Uh, in fact, they will be presenting to the enthusiast breakouts uh, tomorrow, but you can join their Discord channel and there is, um, or their Discord server, and that there is a FathomNet channel um, specifically where, you know, we, we check and, and interact with, uh, with people there. I also kind of get information, release new content and stuff on there just to get uh, feedback too. Um, so that's a fun space. And besides that, you know, we've got an email, fathomnetanabari.org. Those emails get sent to Kevin now. Uh, they used to be sent to me. So that's fantastic. Uh, there's obviously the website, fathomnet.org, the GitHub, github.com slash fathomnet, the blog, medium.com slash fathomnet, YouTube. We have a, a fancy um, a custom URL now, youtube.com slash c slash fathomnet. 
and the Slack space, the Discord, and the list goes on. All of these links are in the agenda, so do not worry about taking any of these notes down. And really, we're just curious how we're doing. We are just here trying to collect feedback and uh, connect with you all.